This year, I decided to upgrade my PPU rig to add fiber capability. On at least one of the regular jobs that I do, we have very long SDI cable runs. And I tend to find anything over about 80 meters just doesn't give me a stable enough signal to work with the ATEM switches. I purchased a studio converter, a 20x20 smart hub, and a new ATEM 1ME 4K switcher and decided to rebuild the entire rig over lockdown. This is how I got on. Today I'm wiring up the rack with the new equipment for 2020. Firstly, I bought 50 60 centimeter SDI patch cables to connect the new BNC patch panel into the new video router and out to the ATEM and other devices. I had to change my original plan of wiring both ATEM switches into the Smart Hub as on a 20x20 router it would have used all the outputs just for that and I needed outputs for other devices like monitors, hyperdeck recorders and configurable outputs like individual camera feeds to link with other external systems. Plan B was to wire most of the ins and outs that I'm likely to use through the hub and out to the patch bay allowing me to quickly hardwire the backup switcher if needed in rack B, straight from the patch panel. I added some internal mains power blocks on either side of the rack with USB outputs. And using short cables, wired in the equipment power without meters of excess cabling. I also fitted a new compact five-way ethernet hub with outputs to the patch bay. I built a multi-type patch panel for XLR audio and talkback, LC fiber inputs, USB, HDMI and Ethernet connections. I decided to use some nylon thumb screws on certain back panels for quick release to get easy access inside the rack when needed. While wired panels and mains distribution are screwed in more securely. I fitted my old ATEM TV studio directly to the back panel as a quick access spare switcher in the main rack. After testing the first configuration of the rack, it became apparent that heat and airflow were going to be an issue. So I moved the spare ATEM into rack B and decided to fit quiet USB fan units to the back panel to draw fresh air in at the bottom and help extract warm air out from the top. The fans clip in place with rubber rivets to reduce noise and vibrations and plug into the USB power strips, leaving enough spare for USB powered converters and an LED strip allowing me to see inside the rack. I carry out some testing to make sure things are working before moving on. Fitting a USB hub inside the rack has allowed me to wire most of the devices for control access and firmware updates when needed. The build is now pretty much complete, giving me a lot of flexibility in the configuration and scalability depending on the size of the project. With recording and playback, monitoring, routing, talkback, media playout and switching. With additional monitoring, and a spare 1ME switcher in rack B if needed. Midway through the update, I picked up a couple of days of live mixing, which enabled me to thoroughly test some of the new equipment in a real-world setup. That also helped me to devise a few useful tweaks and changes. I'm quite pleased now with the setup. I think it has a lot of flexibility and with the addition of the new ATEM Mini Pro, it allows me to scale to the size of the job and add features like hardware streaming coding into a fairly portable package. I'm now looking at how to best implement the fiber setup and integrate my existing analog talkback system with the digital talkback over fiber to minimize cabling on long runs. 
I hope you found that useful and interesting. Do let us know in the comments and feel free to ask any questions below. And of course, if we can help with any production work here in the UK, then please do contact us.